I want you to um, really think about what does Lifestyle Freedom Day mean to you? What are your goals? Um, so exactly what does that mean? What's on your bucket list? Uh, for me, it means not having to do my day job. It means being able to do what I want, when I want, with whom I want. It means being in Italy for two months of the year. It means being at my cottage for four months of the year. It means doing you know, maybe one or two proper properties or projects or something that sort of gets my motor running um, once or twice a year and just doing things because I want to do things, not because I have to. Um, one of the things that's on my bucket list, of course, is to, uh, to travel. I want to travel all over the place. Uh, your bucket list can mean a number of things. It can mean traveling around the world, paying for your kids' education. It can be moving to a different country um, or taking a two-week cruise. Whatever it is for you and whatever it means for you is your bucket list, okay? I had a bucket list a long time ago. I wanted to go on a, a, a hot air balloon ride. That's a whole other story. I checked it off my bucket list. We'll never do it again, um, but that's great. It did it, and it was a lot of fun, and I did it because of real estate. Okay, I'm going to see if I can pop open the chat here so I can see what you're all saying. Let's see. Um, let's see. So let's get in there. What's your Lifestyle Freedom Day mean? Uh, you want to travel too? Excellent. Okay. Uh, st stability and security. So figure out what that means for you. Somebody wants a Porsche. That's fantastic. Pick me up, please. I'd like to go for a ride in that bad boy. Okay, so... What else? Somebody wants to quit their job, travel to Panama, travel to Australia, Italy. That's awesome. Okay, so live in three different countries. Well, we'd like to learn more about that. And so over the next couple of days, you're going to start doing things and doing an activities that help you map out that journey. We want to help you create your roadmap so that you're, you know, you're not just buying real estate and doing real estate haphazardly. We want you to be strategic. I want you to be thinking about when you're doing something, why are you doing it? How does it fit in your plan? Um, I have my plan completely mapped out. My, my, I've met my Lifestyle Freedom Day as well. And, um, and I'm going to show you, you know, how you can get there faster, how you can get there quicker, and how you can get there uh, without taking too many unnecessary risks, okay? Um, you know, it'd be great. I, I saw somebody there say that they want to do philanthropy. Me as well. I'd love to go to Africa. I'd love to build a, a school or maybe a well or do something like that. I've been thinking about it for a long time. So I think this, this is great. Thank you for sharing, uh, sharing what it is that you guys want to do. That's what we want to do over the next couple of days. We want to help you get there. We want to help you map out that journey, okay? Because I have a big saying that I say all the time, and uh, that is those who, who fail to plan should plan to fail. So we're going to do a little bit of planning here, um, get you organized, help you figure out what your next step is, what your next 30 days are going to look like, the next 60 days, 90 days, et cetera.